So what is the fully loaded stone system by Palatrax? The idea here is to really drill down into the detail of it and show you what it is and why it's so successful. So the first part of it is the Gamma mainline, the only irradiated fishing line in the world where you end up with a super strong, super abrasion resistant line, nothing like it out there. The patented stone, a natural weight, which we fish running style for great bite detection. So versatile the stone, so many things, and we can talk about that more in more detail going forward. A small buffer bead, then we tie on what we call the LQ rig. 25 pound steam link, translucent coating, which you steam stiff, and then you've got a dyneema in a core. Very, very flexible. Small shrink kicker and the size six Y-gate grips. My personal preference, and the grips are a third design. They really are phenomenal. Really, really make the difference. As this all does, we've really drilled down, really researched, and we've got a system that really catches us so many fish. And we know why, because we've really researched, really tried, really tested. I know I sound passionate. I know I come across as really, really keen about this, but if you replicate it, I promise you, you will replicate the results we have and they're phenomenal. When we come to the LQ rig, the trap, really mega important to get that right. And we will have another film shot exactly showing you how to tie up this rig. The whole system is amazing. The next stage is it to load it with all the bait options. That's what we'll show next. So we've gone all that way to design this fantastically effective system, but the next key part to it, and it promise you, it is all about the ingredients when it comes to baits. Never be fooled, it's all about the ingredients. And one thing you'd be assured with Palatrax, we are animal feed registered, so we comply to everything we need to be, and we go that much further. You know, I own my own lakes, Ashmansworthy pools, so I wanna make sure that not only are my anglers catching fish, but also the fish and the general biomass are benefiting. So loading this one up for this film, we're gonna do the multi-worm, which is a naturals one. So we've got the multi-worm. Doesn't smell particularly nice to the human nose. It's full of silkworm chrysalis, really, really pungent, almost like a wet dog smell. So that will be going on the hook and within the method mix, which we'll show shortly. I'm also going to use the fresh paste, the multi-worm fresh paste. Again, I'll show you how we're going to set that up. One of the big keys, it's not really very well used or very well appreciated massively in the match fishing, but the method mix. And I use the stone as a method feeder, the best method feeder in the world. Again, over 40 ingredients in that, incredibly effective, huge pulling power. And then we're going to use naturals, so Daphnia, we're going to use maggot, we're going to use the naturals powder, Daphne and maggot as well. So they'll all come to almost like preparing this meal and the, you've got this incredibly effective system, incredibly effective baits that have been so well researched. We use it all here, we make it all here. It's designed not just to catch you fish, but to catch you fish time and time again, because it's food. It's not just a flavor, it's not just a smell, it's not on a bulking agent, it's pure food. So the next stage is to load the system up with all of these goodies, and then the next thing, you cast out, and I promise you, time and time, fish after fish, will come to this. We do it different from the trending narrative, but we can tell you why. And all we can do is draw you to those conclusions and you make you know, your conclusions yourself, but we promise you, we really, really have thought about this. So first stage is to take a multi-worm bait. We do obviously a lot of different baits. This is a boily, but I don't personally fish with round shapes. The reason they're round is the machines. Um, I actually will remove the membrane. A bait, boil bait is a bit like an egg, as in it's got a shell and everything that's good, if it's a good bait, is contained within that shell. So I'm just literally gonna mount this onto my hair rig, onto my LQ rig. Boilie stop in there. I tend to fish quite a tight hair, in the majority of situations. So like I say, if you think about it, that's been boiled as a membrane created, so everything inside it can't get out unless you break that membrane down. Now that'll happen over a period of time, but I want to happen it, make it happen quickly. So I'm literally just gonna remove the outer skin. So I know as soon as that hits the water, it's gonna actually start breaking down and all the attractants within that, the mealworm, the earthworm, the silkworm, is all gonna start oozing out. And we call it cooking the bacon, drawing the fish in. That's how they find your baits. It's not just a visual thing, it's very, very much something that they sense, they taste on the water. So the next stage is to then go even more to 
bling that bait up, to cook that bacon, to really, really get it out there, really oozing all of these natural flavors. Now this is the complete deal. This is the fresh paste. This is prior to making the bait, prior to it's being boiled. So you get a lump of that. And what will I do next thing? Daphnia is a massive, it's a water flea, prevalent in this country and everywhere else. So this has been blitzed down into millions of particles. So I'm going to add Daphnia powder and I'm just going to start working that in. And so what you'll do is you'll get these different breakdowns. The bait on the hair will break down at the speed. Water temperature makes a huge difference uh, and consistency of bait, what it's physically made from. And then the paste will break down so much quicker. And as it's breaking down, it will release all the natural attraction that you're getting from the Daphnia powder. The next stage is to wrap that off. We call it conquering it off. So just wrapping that round. So this will break down. Many a time you'll catch a fish very, very quickly prior to it breaking down because they just home in on it. One of the little tricks we also do is we feed up the paste, up the hair to trap the hair, making it nigh on impossible to uh, tangle on the cast as well. So you'll end up with this little parcel of natural food. So your membrane removed hook bait or bait on the hair, and then this wrap of paste. And you could put these ingredients in lots of different things. We add them into method mixes, which we'll show you in a minute, but we certainly add it to that hook bait. So just think about it. That's out there now. This is all breaking. We call it milking because you get this milky kind of consistency and ooze away from the bait. That is just drawing their fish in. Fish use a thing called the olfactory system to taste on the water. So that's how they will find this. It's oozing out. We're cooking the bacon. So now we've sorted out the hook plate. Again, lots of attention to detail, not just the ingredients, but how we set it up. The next stage is to really load it with the method mix. And that's the next thing that will go stage by stage. You get it right, you combine all this. I tell you what, it's just a deadly, deadly system. So not only is it key to have the right ingredients, but it's also key to how you actually utilize them when you're making any bait, I would suggest. I was brought up on HMV, high nutritional value, get it right, don't use bulking agents. So everything here I'm using is pure food. Lots of the information has come from the koi market or the fish farming market. That's where I really go initially. And then obviously with the lakes I've had, all those kind of things I've done, you're trying to make this complete food source. And when you're doing bait, you really need to prep it. So what I'm gonna show you is how to prep the method system that we then use around the stone system. So the first thing we're gonna use is in this case, it's the Daphne and Maggot Crush. So it's the over 40 different independent ingredients, really, really complex mix. So I'm gonna put about half a bag in, into here, and that's already full of Daphne and Maggot but I want to really boost this. I really want to get it out there. So we've got some of the whole Daphne. So I'm going to pour, again, you can experiment. It's like, you know, a mad professor or a super kitchen. Then I'm going to use some of the maggot, whole maggot, full of air. And the reason we're using this is not only has it got a natural protein to it, 60% of its natural protein prior to it being irradiated and dried, um, it also got an air content and that agitates the mix and splits it up, which will show. Then I'm gonna go back. One of my favorites alongside Daphne is this is the maggot powder, really oily, really pungent. So I'm gonna put a couple of teaspoons full of that in there. And it's literally, I suppose, in many ways, you like making a cake. I don't want to eat it, mine, but certainly developed for eat the fish eating it. A couple of spoonfuls of the Daphnia, pure Daphnia powder. Last but not least, I'm going to go back. Now, if I'm fishing multi-worm, you know, I'm going to make up a mix for multi-worm. Now, I don't use one of these kind of crusher things to turn it into a powder. For me, that's for this kind of thing, it breaks it down too quickly. I want chunks. When everything else is break down, I want bits the fish can grub around in. There's something still of substance. And I'm literally going to crumb this up into the mix, you know, for a half a kilo mix, I'm going to put about 20 baits in there. And I'm literally just crushing them between four finger and four thumb. You're ending up with, like I say, chunks. And it is really about the prep. You know, don't ever overrun it. Don't, you know, look at the match angler. I, I look at the match angler, I hold them in high esteem, how they prep bait, how they are so unobtrusive, how they're so accurate with their baiting. But one thing the top match angler will always do, will always know the ingredients of whatever their bait they're using and how to prepare it. And we'll spend hours, literally the day before, even weeks before, they will prep bait 
So next thing is just to mix it all in. And so you need to thoroughly mix. Again, you know, I'm not the best chef in the world, far from it. Cheese on toast is about as far as I go, but making this, it's a lot of passion, a lot of effort. So I'm gonna mix everything into this. Some people kind of struggle, and I can understand why. It's something that is not the norm. But what you end up with, with the method, right next to your hook bait, as long as, again, the ingredients and emphasise the ingredients, you'll end up with something that's going to draw the fish in, it's going to stimulate them to feed. So the next stage will be to add water. And what I would always suggest is add water from the venue you're fishing. Water out of the tap is full of chemicals. Can fish sense it? Possibly, probably. So if I remove that, concern by drilling down, just use the water from the venue. So when you've got about half a kilo of Daphne maggot, I know I've added some extras, you're talking about 300 mil of water will give you that balance. It all depends on the day, water temperature is very relevant, and obviously the extras you mix into it. But I'm just gonna pour it, and then I'm gonna start really working it in. And like I said, take your time. Don't, we got, especially if we're carp fishing, we've, we've got loads of time. So if we make it properly at the beginning, and what you're looking for is to get a consistency where it's not too dry and not too wet. And that's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to keep on working and working and working it in. Because what you're trying to do is get the particles, as minute as they are, to really soak up into the mix and really kind of work it. And you'll end up with... It's a bit of a stodgy old mess, obviously, and you'll go through it to get to that stage where it's literally not sticking to your hands. But if you work it and work it, and once you've got the hang of it, I suppose it's like riding a bike. But what you do know is all of this stuff is full of goodies. It's not full of bulking agents like loads of breadcrumb and flowers and things like this. This is the real deal. And you literally get in there, and I always make up about 500 grams at a time. Never ever use a whole bag if you've only got a bag, because if you make it too wet, then you've got nothing to dry it out with. And so by mixing it in and you work it, and then you leave it for a little bit and let the water soak into those particles, then you're gonna end up with this consistency where I am now. And I've obviously done it loads of times, so it's a bit easier for me. But you see what you end up with is consistency where it's not sticking to my hands. That will wrap around in a minute. We'll show you that will really wrap around the stone. You'll be surprised how far you can cast a fully loaded stone system. Just make sure your rod's tough enough to do it. Two and a half pound test curve plus if you're going to put a big ball out. But that's not sticking to my hands. It's not too dry, so it's not crumbling. I know that spot on. And so the next thing is to show you how to put it around the stone. So what I'm gonna do next is take a palm full of the mix. I'm gonna put my stone in there and I'm gonna literally push that right in. And I'm just folding it over. And the nice thing about this is you can actually shape this into something that's really aerodynamic as well. And you can really punch it out there. And I personally think it's so much more versatile on a PVA bag. Don't get me wrong, that's a tactical approach. But I'm going to end up with this almost hand grenade shape that I can really push out there. And honestly, it's all about the ingredients. They're going to pull those fish in. It's pure food, pure attraction. The mix will break down instead of a lump of lead and plastic feeder you've just got a natural stone it really is such an awesome system to fish at the very least it will give you is another string to your bow personally we've got to the stage in life now where we yes we manipulate the mixes we manipulate the baits we stick with the system we just can't beat it so there we go, the fully loaded stone system, so versatile, catching us thousands and thousands of fish from all over the world. Look at what's happening in Canada now. Look what's happening with our products in Thailand now. It's a fishing system. It doesn't follow the normal trends, but what I can promise you, it catches a huge amount of fish. So if you wanna catch more fish, fish the stone system, fish the fully loaded stone system, manipulate the baits on the day, but you don't need to move away from what the stone system is and the dynamics it can give you.